Welcome to week six of our punch along. Uh, last week we finished punching the whole mandala and this week I'm going to show you how to finish off the back of your hoop. I'm going to show you that now. My mandala is still stretched in my hoop uh, with the front uh, facing the wrong way. So the first thing to do is to take it out the hoop. We want to turn the cloth over um, so that the front of the mandala, that's this side here, is facing out from the raised side of the hoop, um, not the recessed side on the back. So the first thing I do is unscrew the outer hoop. And then I set it aside for now. And then turn the cloth over so that the front of the mandala uh, faces up. Then slide the inner hoop, that's the smaller solid hoop underneath it. And try to position it as much as you can uh, with the mandala nicely centered in the middle of the inner hoop. Uh, you want to avoid uh, needing to pull on the cloth too much later to get it into the correct position. You might want to tighten the screw first and then it will be easier to stretch it into its final position. Let's see how that looks. Not quite. Let me adjust it. There we go. And now for the last time, uh, pull on the cloth all around uh, to get it exactly in the middle of the hoop. Let's move on to the back and finish that off. Now there are several ways of doing this. You could use some fabric glue to fix the stitches in place on the back, but I don't think that's really necessary because with the way I'm going to show you uh, to finish it off, the stitches will be well protected so nothing can happen to them. And I'm going to show you two ways to finish the back. The first thing I need to do is trim my cloth around the hoop and I'm going to cut it 10 centimeters away from the hoop. So I take my tape measure and I hold it against the hoop and then cut along the 10 centimeter point. And that's 10 centimeters all the way around the hoop. There we go. That's all neatly trimmed off. And so now I need to grab my yarn and a needle. You can use whichever color you like for this, um, whatever yarn you have left over from the mandala. I'm going to be using this mint color here. So cut a long strand and thread your needle. Make sure you've got a nice long strand for this. And then take your cloth and fold the edge down towards the inside, uh, roughly about one centimeter. And then take your needle and stitch through to fix the fold down. And then fold down one centimeter further along and carry on sewing uh, using quite long basting stitches all the way around. And 
and so keep sewing until you reach the point where you began. I've nearly sewed the whole way around. There we go. And I'm now going to pull on the ends of my yarn and the cloth will gather up nicely on the back. So slide your pleats around so that they are evenly distributed around the opening. You want them to be nice and straight. Tuck the yarn uh, nice and tight and then tie the ends in a knot to finish. and then trim the ends. And that's the mandala complete. Um, as you can see here on the back, there's very little of the mandala showing through. Um, but if, however, you decide you don't want any of the back showing, uh, then you can cut out a cardboard circle that's the same size or slightly smaller than your hoop and then place it against the back of your punch work um, inside the ring and then continue finishing off the back as I showed you before. With the cardboard you can trim the cloth a bit shorter around the hoop because the cardboard is covering the back of your stitches so that's the other option for finishing off your hoop if you want to hide the back completely. It's up to you. Well thanks for joining us and I hope you enjoy your mandala. <laughs>